very humble, and very it is confident, time uh, as we very shall continue to fight number three at W5 event. Legends collide. Referee for the next fight is going to be from Hungary, Jurgi Voivoda. And we are presenting the one and only female fight. Anna Filipovic from Croatia versus Monika Kucinic, Slovenia. We are presenting from Croatia, Anna Filipovic. So we have our female fight, and this is for those of you tuning into our pay. We have a uh, the first three fights on our pay per view are on our YouTube channel uh, for free, and this is the last one. So anybody that's watching on the YouTube channel, you can go to w5kick.tv, you can go to fight.tv, uh, you can go to Elite Box. Uh, these are all the platforms that are showing the fight on the pay-per-view. So whichever our fighters prefer, or our fans prefer, uh, head on over. That's uh, w5kick.tv, fight.tv, and Elite Box. For the rest of you, you're about to tune in to our last fight of the early prelims. Uh, this is against a debut fight for Anna Filipovic from Croatia. She's 21, 168 centimeters, and she has zero professional fights. Uh, and she's going up against probably, I would say, you're definitely rooting for her. Yes, Mirko? Monica yeah. Kus Kusinic. Kusinic, yeah. Did I get that right? Uh, uh, Kusinic, yeah. But, okay. From it's okay. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay. It's okay, yeah. The, uh, Anna Filipovic has a great... This is her first appearance in professional boxing career. And we are now seeing her opponent coming from Slovenia, Monika Kucinic. So, Anna Filipovic has a rare, very, very tough task in front of her because uh, Monika Kucinic is, oh, I'll say it, and I won't be rude, she's a monster. She's tough. She's tough. I, I saw her in Russia against uh, Anastasia Diachenko, and uh, and she lost that fight. The uh, only fight she lost. The only fight she lost. And, and to be fair to uh, Anastasia, she did a great job of dominating that fight. Monica just couldn't get inside on her. Monica's short. She's yeah. a very short fighter. She has to get inside, and you'll watch her. She'll throw those big overhand uh, shots, and she will throw the overhand shots. She will, no doubt. She has a strong kick, a strong punch. She's very, very powerful. Uh, and she's also coming from uh, the gym Fight Club Sanovo and her coach is uh, Denis Roy and they're really doing a great job on uh, fighters that are really good Slovenian prospects right now and uh, Monika Kucinic is one of them probably she, the best. she looks a lot slimmer than she did uh, in Moscow looks like she's lost some weight she's a little bit fitter yeah she is yeah, she I think she was at like 57 kilos at that yeah, point that was not her weight division in the past. it was not her weight she usually fights she was 57 60 or yeah, something yeah, around yeah. there I think for that fight. Yeah, she fights 53. That's her optimal weight. And this is here. Yeah. So it, I'm really interested in seeing because she looks, she looks fitter than she did in uh, February in Moscow. And I, I, I'm waiting to see the difference. Yeah, and this also psychologically, she, that's the second time in W fight. Maybe the first time she went to a foreign country, you know, to a big venue, uh, a great event, and she was used to fighting in smaller events. Uh, she was doing great in smaller events, but probably that just that took something out of her, you know. And I will say one thing for those of you guys watching right now. Okay, you look at Anna; she's actually quite slender and tall. But you look at Monica and look at the size of her her uh, not only her calves, but you look at the size of her thighs. This girl has got big, strong legs. I mean, her legs are strong, and you will be able to see the strength now. And with that low center of gravity, she can really she can really pivot on those low kicks. Number three, and she can take a punch. Also, and uh, we must not take uh, Anna Filipovic out of the equation. No, she can uh, also win. She's a world champion yeah. uh, in the amateur rank. She's had a lot of amateur fights. She's an extremely uh, good fighter. But again, uh, sometimes in your for your debut fight, you can be a bit skittish. Monica is a very patient and poised fighter, but she will push the fight. And you see her come inside right away. Good right. Oh, oh a great big right by Monica to start it off. That Beautiful right on the ride. chin. Huge right. And you see how quick she is. She, 
Another, another big great, right, another, another right. And I'm telling you, Monica is significantly shorter than her opponents. She lands every right she hand. She does land. Yeah. And Ana Filipovic needs to move. She, she can't afford to mix it up for too long. And this is what I don't understand about uh, fighters who are significantly taller. Good another right by Monica. Here you have is a significantly taller fighter, almost nine centimeters taller than Monica, not using that straight leg kick to keep Monica at a distance. Knowing that she gets inside, she's landing those big rights early on. Use the straight kick. Exactly. Keep her at a distance. I agree with that. No straight kicks and no jabs. He just mi uh, mixes it up with hooks. And that's not good because uh, Monica comes down under yep. and he throw she throws an over uh, overhand right and lefts and she will catch her every time. Well, I'll tell you right now, Anna does not have much of a chance of not getting knocked out in this fight if she keeps doing that. Oh, great right hand right. by Monica, yeah. Monica dominating, landing big shots. And she's landing some big ones already. You can see that Anna, like, woke up. Yeah, she's, she's moving a little bit, right? And there, look at that powerful leg. You can see that Anna took one on the, a nice low kick, and it hurt. It definitely hurt. She knee buckled a little bit. So Monica, definitely a different fighter than what I saw in Moscow. I'll tell you this right now. From what I saw, she looked a little bit sluggish. She looked a little bit lost. Uh, she didn't really... Oh, another big right by Monica. She, she had a really hard time getting inside and landing her punches. Uh, she looks slimmer here. And as you said, it's just more her weight class. And it definitely looks to be a huge difference in the speed and uh, her style. Yeah, and uh, when your opponent doesn't use his re uh, or hers reach advan advantage, you know, then you can get inside. And in Moscow, she couldn't get inside because she was stopped. Very patient fighter as well. Not overly aggressive, looking for an opening, waiting to do a counter. Yeah, she doesn't just bombard with her eyes yeah. closed, you know. She, she, she takes her time and then becomes aggressive, like explodes. 15 seconds left here in round number one. Monica definitely dominating round number one. She slowed it down a little bit. She had that a good aggressive moment, uh, landed some big shots. Anna seems all right, and it's calmed down. I think they're just going to uh, wait it out here to round number two. Oh, oh nice great left shot by, by Anna. Anna. Monica tried to come inside. That was a great round for Monika Kucinic. She really did great. Landed some nice right hooks because Anna Filipovic wasn't really using her reach advantage. You can see there. But she did a nice job by, by grabbing Monika and tying her up and into the clinch because if she hadn't done that, she would have been knocked out or knocked down. See some exchanges. Uh, Monica likes to mix it up with with hand and leg combinations with kicks. You can see there she lands a right and then throws a left kick it's right right after it. So Monica took that first round. It was a oh, 10 -nine oh, round. No doubt about it. Monica, Monica landed 15 Luka strikes Luka. with Anna landing 13. Monica is aggressive again, and Anna is fighting from the back foot. Still throwing punches while moving back. Oh, great right hand by Monica, and another right. Anna tries a spinning back fist, fist but it gets countered with a low kick from Monica Kucinic. She's just cutting off the ring and controlling the tempo of the fight. That's a little bit better from, from Anna Filipovic. She threw a kick and stopped Monica now. Yeah, the fight is stopped because uh, her shorts are twisted, I guess. And it was a uh, fair play on Monica's part that uh, she didn't even uh, try to throw a punch when Anna's hands were down. A low kick by Monica, but Anna Filipovic comes back with three strikes.
But you can see that uh, Monica Kucinic is a lot stronger than Anna Filipovic. Her punch, punches and kicks sound different. And when she throws a punch, Anna goes back. And a great right hand on the tip of her chin. But Anna Filipovic took it great again. She also has a good chin. We've seen so far some great resilience on parts of uh, all fighters. Now Anna is moving again, but she threw a spinning kick and she was out of distance, so it didn't land. Now Monica's being warned for uh, throwing two knees in a row, which is forbidden under W5 rules. Monica comes in with a 1-2, and I think all the boxing exchanges are quite the same. Monica comes with straight punches, and Anna just uh, throws the round punches, the, the hooks, and Monica lands. Great right hand, and now Anna landed two or three shots on her own. And the crowd is appreciating it. Great action in round two. Here's a clapper for the last 10 seconds of the, of the second round. And the exchange at the end, I think, probably Anna got the better of the, of the last exchange, but I also think that Monica took round two with bigger, harder, stronger shots. We'll be able to check the replays now. Here you see how Monica comes in and just bulldozes through Anna's uh, strikes. She throws punch after punch, great volume of punches. So unfortunately, I had to quickly do an interview. I'm really sorry, I'm back now. Welcome back, Daniel. Very good, thank you. Uh, the second round I did not see, so America was entertaining you while I was away for uh, three minutes. Yeah, it was a very entertaining round. Anna Filipovic did have some success. Some, some success. Uh, she landed a few punches and, and kicks, mostly at the end of the second round. She finished it off uh, great, but I still believe uh, believe uh, Monica did a little bit more in the, in the second, second round. round. But it was a bit closer than the first so one. So let's call it a tie. I was let's call it, call it a tie. Yeah. The first round, Monica dominated. So right now, Anna finds herself possibly in a little bit of a hole. And you see Monica gets inside, but yeah, Anna looking a little bit more active, and there's that uh, knee. And you can hear the power in Monica's legs when she lands that. Listen to that mid-kick. I can hear that down here. And I got headphones on. <laughs> a kick that pierces through the headphones. You gotta love it, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh and a big right by Anna. Another big right by Anna. Monica with her gloves down, wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, it was thrown from an angle. She didn't really see it, so it was a great strike. Good rights by Monica. Anna doing a great thing. Monica coming inside. She's trying to grab her right away, prevent her. Monica's power is inside. You can see it already. Anna right now trying to land a couple sh shots on the outside before she grabs her. Good right by Monica again on the chin. Anna holding her own. I'll tell you, Anna took some really huge shots in the first round. Oh, good combination by Monica. And that kick, though. That kick, though, I think she's hurt to the body a little bit. It was a left kick to the, to the liver. And it's those body shots that can really wipe out your energy. Yeah, some fighters have great chins, but when they take shots to the body, they become different, you know? Oh, Good great right, right by Monica as well. Anna landing her own left, it was a counter right. Oh, and a big left, big left hook by Anna Filipovic. Huge, Monica not even bothered by it. She says, yeah. come on, and she just bums rush her. She what a likes way to, to go, fight. Monica. Wow, I've never seen a fighter just get take a shot like that and say, screw you, I'm coming after you. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing, Give I told more. you. Give me more. She loves to fight. Wow. And again with a nice shot. That was amazing. 
Well, she's like a bull, you know? Monica Kucinich just took a shot and just bum rushed her opponent. Thirty seconds left here in round three. This is a pretty even fight, to be quite honest. Anna laying her own shots. Monica landing the bigger shots, but Anna doing holding her own. It's close enough that I can't really give anybody uh, the round at this point. I mean, Monica may be throwing, uh, landing a couple of the bigger, harder shots overall, but oh, another left oh, right by Monica. That right was great, also. I believe uh, in terms of uh, strikes landed, they are about equal in this round, but uh, Monica landed the harder punches. That's now, how I see it, but it's close. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna ask you, because obviously you're quite intimate with Monica. You know her well enough and her team and her trainer. Uh, again, I'm going to go back to Moscow. In the third round when she fought uh, Anastasia, she was uh, extremely tired. How much does, do that, does that extra weight? Uh, if it's not your normal weight, weigh on you when you get into the later rounds because she was very slow and tired and here she looks still very strong. And I'm not going to say that Anna did anything different than Anastasia did in Moscow. Monica's taken the shots uh, just as much. She's had to move around the ring, but she looks much more conditioned. It's also psychological, not just the weight, because if you can land your punches on your opponent, then you feel energized. And if you can't land punches, then you feel you can feel tired. That's one thing. And the second factor is, yeah, the weight, because you, you can just take the look at the percentage the, uh, with the weight you gain in the lower weight classes. If you gain three or four kilograms when you weigh 50 kilos, yeah, then the percentage is bigger if than someone who has like 70 or 80 kilos and gains three kilos, you know? And it really wears on yeah. your energy in the later rounds. Yeah? Absolutely. If you're not used to carrying that extra weight. Absolutely. Well, right now we're waiting for the results. Uh, this could go to a fourth round easily. I, I do believe Monica landed, from what I saw in the first and third round, the bigger shots uh, in those rounds. But Anna still landed a good portion of her strikes and she held her so own. Sports fan. It's tough. If I have to give it to anybody, I gotta give it to Monica. I think we she did a little bit more. We have decision, and one and only female fight for tonight's event, Tony Fine Legends Collide. The winner is, by unanimous decision, in the red corner, Monica Cuccini. Slovenia. Monica Kucinich winning in the red corner by unanimous decision. Congratulations to her. I think she deserved it, uh, you know, by all measures of what I saw in the first and third round. She was just a little bit stronger and better. And she definitely stunned Anna a couple times where Anna didn't really know what to do next. Yeah, uh, her punches and kicks are strong. And uh, but also, she, she was just pressing the action. And that's what probably caused judges to give rounds to, to Monica. But if Anna threw more straight strikes, straight kicks, and straight like jabs or straight uh, right hands, she would have stopped Monica and stopped her from coming in. I agree. In yeah. the first round, I think Anna had a chance to win that if she would have used those jabs, use that reach, and keep Monica at bay. But she allowed Monica to come inside at will and land some really big shots, especially in round number one. So congratulations to Monica Kucinich. She did a great job. She's tough. She's a lot tougher than I, than I saw in the first fight. And uh, definitely, I, I see a difference in the way.